I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit, brought to you by bitrefill.com, the easiest place to shop and get all of your needs met with Bitcoin and Lightning transactions. You can head over here. They've got gift cards from Amazon, Walmart, Steam, Uber, Instacart, Airbnb, Apple. The list goes on, but they have you covered. You can be living on a Bitcoin standard like me, and BitRefill has been a godsend. So head to bitrefill.com and use code BTC Sessions at checkout for discounts. It was Knut Svanholm that brought it up in terms of what if there was a, a mechanism through which I could time lock in uh, Bitcoin for inheritance um, and that time lock after you pass a certain threshold or a certain block, let's say, let's say you had one Bitcoin and you wanted that to go to your family at, you know, 10 years in the future, say a quarter of a Bitcoin is released to them. And then five years in the future from there, a quarter of the remaining amount or, you know, 50%, whatever the percentage threshold, but like an idea of like having, say like having the amount released to them over time, thinking that over that time frame, even though you're having the amount of Bitcoin released to people, that Bitcoin will be the purchasing power of that Bitcoin will be worth more. So they don't blow all their Bitcoin early on and they're forced to kind of hodl long term. So like basically a having schedule for inheritance. And I think the cool thing about it, too, is you've kind of mentioned um, the time lock and having that be based on block height. I believe you can also do just regular clock time as well. So say, like, for example, if I have three kids, which I do, so this will be a pertinent example. If for whatever reason I could set up a mini script to say, I didn't move my UTXOs for like two years, for example, then it could be set up to where two out of the three of my children would have to use their key, but only after a year of them signing, the Bitcoin would actually be released. And you can set that up to be, you know, different uh, lengths of time or whatever fits your situation better. But yeah, I mean, I think in addition to custody, I think inheritance planning is something that will probably be explored a lot uh, using Miniscript here going forward.